Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for August 6th, 2024. Welcome to Shredding La Belle Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well today. Just keep in mind, Virgo, that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, so this message may not resonate with everyone. Just take the parts that do resonate for yourself and leave the rest for someone else to appreciate. Also keep in mind that my readings are timeless, so it doesn't matter when this reading comes across your platform, whenever it does come into your energy is whenever it is meant for you, okay? All right, Virgo, let's see what's up with it. Let's see what Spirit has for you today. Don't forget the Lionsgate portal is coming up on August 8th, okay? Depending on where you are, it's only a couple of days from now. And this is a very powerful Lionsgate portal because it is 888. So write down where you would like to be at a year from August 8th in a couple of days and be very specific, okay? Repeat it three times, repeat it six times, repeat it nine times, however many times you need to, okay? And that should manifest for you, okay? Very important time of the year to, the man to manifest. We're gonna start with an um, Archangel Michael Oracle card and then we're going to get right into the tarot, okay? Be sure to stick around until the end of the reading to find out how you can win a free 20 minute reading from myself, okay? Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Virgo today, please. We have sense of humor, okay? Sense of humor. This is a prayer that you can say. Thank you for helping me see the humor in this situation so I can lovingly laugh at human nature. I am willing to view my experience in a new light in order to attract love and healing energy. So for some of you, you are finding the humor in life or being guided to find the humor in something here that may be happening in your life, okay? Uh, maybe the irony, I don't know. <laughs> something like that could be significant. All right, so finding the sense of humor. So let's see what spirit has for you today, okay? With the tarot. I know you see it. This song is stuck in my head. Something, I don't, I, it's just that one part. I know you see it. Okay. <clears throat> Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Virgo today, please. Show me that Virgo energy. You have the Ten of Wands popping out in the present situation and the reversal. Clarify this or no. Show me the cards that I need to see for Virgo. Let me get the past and the future cards, please. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more. One, two, three, four. All right. Nine of Wands and the Page of Wands. All Wands cards. Somebody out here is probably dealing with a fire sign or you might have fire somewhere in your chart. All right. Somebody might be feeling fiery. I don't know. Something like that could be significant. Nine of Wands here in the past, Virgo. This is a card of victory, but it's like almost a victory, okay? This is the Wounded Warrior. You have made it through all of the obstacles that have been placed in your path. However, it probably wasn't very easy for you. And now you're really close to a victory. Clarify the Nine of Wands for Virgo in the past, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Show me the cards that I need to see. Clarify the Nine of Wands for Virgo in the past. Let me get one more. Four. One, two, three, four. Oh. High Priestess, okay? Your intuition is on point whenever it comes to something or someone, okay? Or you're relying on your intuition. You have the Queen of Cups, the world and the reversal. So some of you are dealing with a water sign, Pis uh, possibly a Pisces, um, but heavy on the Pisces, could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All right, uh, you have the world card in the reversal, which is an endless, meaningless, repetitive, redundant existence. Every day, the same thing. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Okay, so it looks like you're close to a victory on possibly getting out of this situation or this stuck cycle that you might be feeling like you're in or that you might be in here. Clarify the past situation for Virgo, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What's going on for Virgo here in the past? What is this talking about? Clarify this past situation for Virgo. One more four. One, two, three, four. Okay. You have the Queen of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Magician, and the Will of Fortune in the reversal. So if it wasn't for the Will of Fortune in the reverse. So um, I would say here, Virgo, that you are getting out of a cycle or a stuck situation uh, based on your clear communication. Okay. You have the Queen of Swords, which means that your clear communication is expressing what is best for everyone. 
in this situation. Like I said, some of you might be dealing with another sign, maybe a water sign. Doesn't have to be maybe a Sagittarius with the Nine of Wands there. Uh, you have the Ace of Swords, which is a victory, but it's like a decisive victory. Okay. Um, some kind of breakthrough happening here. You have the Magician card, which is manifesting something from nothing. Okay. Um, with the Nine of Wands and the Magician card, I would say that you might have been dealing with obstacles, but you're like finding that you already have the resources that you need in order to work through whatever these obstacles are. Okay, and I would say that this is one of two things with the Wheel of Fortune in the Reverse. It's like bringing an end to this bad luck for you if it is the Wheel of Fortune in the Reversal. Or it could be how someone is feeling, especially if you're ending a connection with them or ending a situation in order to get out of this stuck feeling, the stuck cycle. Someone could be feeling like this is some kind of bad luck or misfortune for them or something that they possibly don't want to be having to deal with. Let me get two more for Virgo in the past. The Hermit in the Reversal. And the Sun card, yeah, the Hermit is Virgo energy, okay, and the reversal, it's like coming out of Hermit mode. Um, this represents being hyper-social instead of quiet reflection, but I feel like in this scenario here, Virgo, this would just be you kind of breaking out of that shell, like being breaking, breaking out of that, like, Hermit mode, okay? And you have the Sun card, which is happiness, okay, this is success, usually after difficulty, this is success lies ahead if you stick to the past. So something that you're doing here in the past, Virgo, is going to be successful for you, okay? I like it. You, some of you might be dealing with a Leo or another Virgo. Possibly doesn't have to be, okay? <clears throat> in the present, you have the Ten of Wands and the Reversal, okay? This is a weight or a burden that is being lifted off of your shoulders at this time, okay? So it looks like it's from something that you let go of, okay? Clarify the Ten of Wands reverse for Virgo in the present situation, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see. Clarify Ten of Wands reverse for Virgo. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more. One, two, three, four. Okay. I'll take it. You have the Judgment and the Reversal. Ten of, I mean, Two of Swords in the Upright and the Six of Pentacles. So... I would say here, Virgo, that this is you breaking out of the cycle, okay? The, the uh, world in the reverse is my card of being stuck in a cycle. And it's also the judgment in the reversal. The judgment in the reversal is representational of a scratch record playing the same part over and over and over again, all right? Giving that really annoying effect. You're like letting go of this weight by breaking out of this cycle, okay? You have the Six of Pentacles, which is a card of equal give and take but i would say that this is probably more of like you giving to yourself or being there for yourself and this two of swords you know this is a decision that needs to be made or possibly a decision that has been made okay and it's a card of protecting your heart okay so you are protecting your heart at this time with the arms crossed over the chest there okay clarify the present situation for virgo please holy spirit and holy angels what's going on for virgo in the present situation one two three four one more one, two, three, four. All right. Ten of wands in the upright. <laughs> the justice, the lovers, and the ace of wands. Um, someone is dealing with a weight or a burden. You have released it, okay? And now it's like someone else is now dealing with this weight or a burden. I would say that it's someone that you have released, someone that you let go of. This does look like something to do with a love reading for at least someone out here. Okay, you have the justice card, which is using your intuition to set your moral compass. It is also a card of if you've been putting in good energy, you're receiving dharma. If you're putting in negative energy, you're receiving karma, okay? Dharma is like good karma. You have the lover's card, which means that there could be new love coming in for you. You are still protecting your heart just in case because you're still working through some kind of past situation here. And this is like... Um, for someone else with this Ten of Wands in the upright and the Ace of Wands in the reversal, this is like not good news for someone, okay? Uh, someone that feels like, uh, oh, there was a misunderstanding or something that didn't happen the way I wanted it to or the way they wanted it to, okay? Especially if you're moving on from a person, it, it looks like that person that you're moving on from is coming in and they're like, oh, this is like too much to bear. This is like, uh, you know, there was a misunderstanding. We need to talk really quick. It looks like there's new love coming in for you with the Lover's card. Now, with the Lover's card, traditionally is a card of um, a fork in the road and having to choose one path or the other, okay, which is kind of more uh, relevant to the Two of Swords energy here. There is some kind of decision here for you as far as which path that you're going to take or need to take here in the present situation. Um, 
that's not going to be for everyone okay like i said you've already released something here it could be new love coming in for some of you someone that's worth your time energy and effort okay it could be just you celebrating the love that you already have in your life okay um let's clarify the present situation for virgo knight of swords and the two of wands in the reversal for some of you it's new love it could be with an air sign gemini libra or aquarius it doesn't have to be Okay, but it's something that is unplanned, like you meet someone at the gas station, or you're like at the library and you meet someone, at the grocery store and you meet someone, okay? Somebody comes uh, towards you really quickly and you're like, oh wow, like this is unexpected. Okay, so I do like it here. It seems like something that is unplanned, but there's two energies here. One is like a past person that feels like they missed an opportunity with you. And now you're like giving to yourself or you're giving to a new connection and a new person comes in unexpectedly, okay? In the future, you have the Page of Wands and the Reversal, okay? So if you, some of you have, like, if you have a kid or something, it could be like a bratty kid, <laughs> very random, okay? But this is more like uh, someone that is not taking action on their goals, okay? Um, let's clarify. What is this Page of Wands reverse for Virgo in the future, please? What's this Page of Wands reverse for Virgo in the future, please? One, two, three, four. Let me get one more. One, two, three, four. Okay. You have the Three of Swords, the Moon card, and the Chariot. So it looks like someone is um, trying to move forward here in their in their life here, Virgo. But they're very heartbroken. They're very upset, okay, either with you because you moved on and found new love. Or um, for some of you, it might be you. Feel free to reverse the roles as needed. Okay, there is, with the moon card here, either a little bit of confusion as to why this is happening, or it could be that someone does not want you to know how they feel about this situation. The chariot could be you moving forward or moving on, uh, charging ahead. It could also be that this person is still moving forward in life, but they're dealing with a lot emotionally, okay? This is coming through very strong in your energy, and it doesn't really look like you, so you might be around this person in one aspect or another. Maybe possibly you have kids with the person, or maybe they're like a roommate or something like this. Like you're still living with someone, something specific like that, okay? Clarify this future situation for Virgo, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see. What's going on for Virgo here in the future? One, two, three, four. Let me get one more. One, two, three, four. Okay. You have the Queen of Pentacles, the Two of Swords again, okay? Eight of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, someone definitely out here, I would say someone has kids with a person that they're dealing with. And uh, this person's trying to hide how they feel about what's going on in your energy. Could be an earth sign kid or a fire sign kid that you have. Possibly doesn't have to be, okay? With the Queen of Pentacles, it's showing me that you're focusing on your home, your family, your success, and your abundance. And this other person that you're dealing with somehow in your energy, uh, it could be maybe a family member for some of you, is still, they're feeling very strongly about this or they're very hurt or they're very upset, Okay. With the Two of Swords here, you know, this is still a card of protecting your heart, okay? So I feel like this is you protecting your heart from this person. It could possibly be vice versa. You have heavy Libra energy here, okay, where the person is protecting their heart from you, okay? With the Page of Pentacles, it's like they want to come in and make you, or come in making... There's someone that's watching you with the little gnat that's flying around. I don't know if y'all can see it, Okay. Someone is spiritually spying on you, um, trying to figure out what you have going on or who you're talking to or something with a little gnat that's flying around. First time I saw that gnat, this is my fifth reading today, okay? So um, someone wants to come in and make you an offer or it's like maybe they are hoping that you will come in and make an offer here. Uh, you do have the Eight of Cups, which it says make your decision and take action with confidence. So there's something here where you're being guided to, um, it's like maybe walk away from anything that is unfulfilling for you right now, or someone is hoping or hoping that you'll walk away from someone or something, or they're expecting you to walk away from them or something. This is a really hard to pinpoint exactly what's going on here. Clarify the future situation for Virgo. You have the High Priestess and the Eight of Swords. So... Trust your own counsel first, okay? Rely on your intuition. There is something here that you already know about this future situation, Virgo. Uh, someone's feeling stuck around you, whether it is you or the person that you're dealing with here, but there is some kind of move that they can make or that you can make. Um, 
It's just like needing to think outside of the box to figure out what that is, okay? Some kind of fears or doubts or something is holding a person back here. Let me get a Mystic Red Rose card. What's going on for Virgo in the future here? Holy Spirit, Holy Angel. Show me the cards that I need to see. Excuse me. Clarify the future situation for Virgo. What is going on here? One, two, three, four. One more. One, two, three, four. Okay. It says sword and rose, so clarity and truth, revelations, honor and protection and determination. I don't know. Um, I would say there could be something that is being revealed to you. Uh, someone could tell you how they're feeling or there could be some kind of determination whenever it comes to you. Someone's not like letting this go or getting over it yet, even if they're hurt from a situation. Um, I don't know. This, let me get one more. Next one is healing heart healing heartbreak toxicity or addiction abusive relationship okay so some of, some of you are healing from a heartbreak or someone you're dealing with is healing from a heartbreak this could be a new person maybe that's why it's like this it doesn't have to be okay but something is kind of strange someone's still healing from something that didn't work out for them in the past is what it looks like okay all right let's get big bubba mac to clarify some of this situation for you if this message is resonating with you so far, Virgo, hit that like button at the bottom, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and please leave a comment in the comment section. I do read all my comments, okay? And after Big Bubba Mac, I will tell you guys how you can win a free 20-minute reading from myself, okay? Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael, Big Bubba Mac, Show me the cards that I need to see for Virgo today, please. Show me that Virgo energy. What's going on with it? One, two, three, four. They know they did you wrong. So there's someone here that knows that they did you wrong in one way or another, Virgo. Okay. What else? One, two, three, four. What would Jesus do? So try to take this with as much grace as possible. Okay. Try not to make anyone feel bad or hurt anyone's feelings if you can help it everybody's on different spiritual paths everybody's on different healing journeys okay so try to take this with as much grace as possible one two three four we have succulents you could be dealing with an energy vampire possibly or somebody owns succulent plants it could be that as well okay what else for virgo today one two three four we have look inward okay some of you are being guided to look inward, okay? Or some of you already are looking inward, Virgo. What else? One, two, three, four. They're scared to make you mad. You have someone that is scared to make you mad here, Virgo, okay? What else? We have hate. Someone could be feeling hateful towards you or you're feeling hateful towards someone. Something about hate is significant here. What else? One, two, three, four. We have navel chakra. This is transformative power, clarity of mind, balance, confidence, strength, and compassion. Someone might need to do a navel chakra meditation. Okay. This also represents the womb. Someone might be thinking about you sexually. What else? We have excitement. Someone could be excited over you or you're excited over someone. Something about excitement is significant here. Okay. <laughs> right after I say that. Okay. That's funny. What else for Virgo today? One, two, three, four. We have E. Someone's first, middle, or last name could start with an E. Yours or theirs. Okay. <laughs> easy. Somebody need to take it easy. What else? One, two, three, four. We have interest. Someone could be interested in you or you're interested in someone. Something about interest is significant here. What else? One, two, three, four. We have 212. This is focus on yourself and remember that your guardian angels are there to support you. Some of you are being guided to focus on yourself. Some of you are already doing this. Could be seeing 212 a lot. Okay. What else for Virgo today, please? We have Pisces. Some of you might be dealing with a Pisces. You might have Pisces somewhere in your chart. Something about Pisces is significant here. One more, no, two more for Virgo. We have annoying, someone could find you annoying or you find something annoying, something about an annoyance is significant here. One more for Virgo, please. One, two, three, four. We have Taurus, some of you could be dealing with a Taurus or you have Taurus somewhere in your chart or something about Taurus is significant here. This is like all my signs. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, this is how you can win a free 20 minute reading from myself. Virgo, all right? If you go down to the description box below and click on New Age Lifestyle Shop, 
this should be working for international as well now okay at first it was just the united states but it should be working international as well uh go to new age lifestyle shop in the description box below okay um in the holistic and wellness section you will find the mushroom coffee okay this is very good i have drank it it is amazing it works like regular coffee but it's healthier for you okay uh, with lion's mane and chaga mushrooms it's for mental focus and energy uh, there's 10 packets in a box okay and you can you know if you don't want it super strong you can do like half a pack for each coffee that you drink uh, if you like it strong do the whole pack okay because it works like i said like regular coffee okay um you get the mushroom coffee, the one ounce bottle of black seed oil. I use black seed oil every day, okay? It has a lot of benefits. This is the black seed oil card that I use on the Big Bubba Mac portion, okay? I'll read it. You can pause it and read it if you want to. It says high in antioxidants, lowers blood sugar, lowers cholesterol, weight loss, protects brain health, treats asthma and various skin conditions. I use it every single day. I put it in my lemon water in the morning and drink it, okay? You can also just drop it under your tongue if you would like to. Get the one ounce bottle of black seed oil and the white sage okay i use white sage every day to cleanse my space as well so these are items that i would use every single day okay so that's why we're trying to switch up the items and use something that i would use so that's the white sage that i use every single day uh, if you use discount code moon 10 that's m o o n one zero it'll take off 10 percent from your order so you'll get a free 20 minute reading from myself pre-recorded you'll get the mushroom coffee the black seed oil and the white sage okay just make sure you either take a picture of your order and send it to my email down below or just forward it to my email down below so that way i know who to send the 20 minute reading pre-recorded back to okay and let me get uh, and let me know what you guys think of the products because it's really nice. I really appreciate you guys um, letting us do this for you. Last week was the Snell Serum, okay? The Snell Serum and the White Sage bundle. So um, I'm gonna use probably a different bundle next week as well. So we're gonna try to keep switching the products up, okay? All right, Virgo, should see you guys again on Friday. Yes. Love you guys. If you would like to reach out to me for a personal reading outside of the bundle as well, you can still do that. All the information about that is in the description box below. Okay. Love you guys. Keep your head up. Keep moving forward. And as always, love yourself first. See you guys later.